The second that I walked around the hillside and saw these fragments of this animal poking out of the hillside, we knew we had something new, we knew we had something big, we knew we had something really important. It wasn't until we got it back to the lab and really started diving into the anatomy to figure out what kind of dinosaur this actually was that the significance of what we were working with really hit us. We realized the incredible size of this animal and that it was a group that we had never found before in North America and we weren't really expecting to find. The dinosaurs that everyone knows and loves come from the late Jurassic, about 150 million years ago, and the latest Cretaceous, things like T-Rex and Triceratops. What happened here in North America in between those two distinct time periods for the dinosaurs that we know and love is a completely open question to science. That's why we targeted this area, because our new animal comes from that gap. So when did Tyrannosaurus become the top dog? in Western North America. We know that Tyrannosaurus grew to great size. We know they eventually evolved into amazing animals like T-Rex. What we don't know is when that happened, why it happened, and how it happened. So our new dinosaur is not a Tyrannosaur. It's a completely different group of mega predators. It was widespread around the globe. They were uh, equal, and in some cases, possibly surpassing the size of T-Rex, um, very famous from South America but um, we hadn't had a good record of these animals in North America. What we're learning from this discovery is that the big guy on the block during the Middle Cretaceous was these animals called Carcharodontosaurids, which are these giant theropods. It wasn't until they went extinct that Tyrannosaurs were really able to take over those mega predator roles and eventually evolve into things like T-Rex. So our new animal is called Siach. Mikororum, and Siach is actually a name that we took to honor the Ute native peoples who lived in the area where we found these bones. They have a legend about a man-eating monster, and we thought that was a very apt name for our new dinosaur.